Auxilio! Everything begins with Aaron Ransom, a very daring hiker and lover of Utah's canyons. One day while riding his bike, he runs into a couple of girls who were lost. Aaron kindly helps guide them to their destination, but to make it more interesting, he takes them through a very narrow cave where they end up falling into an underground lagoon. After having fun in the water, he takes them to their destination, and for helping them, they invite him to a party that night. He says he might go and bids them farewell. As he continues his walk through the canyon, he decides to pass through a very narrow passage. But as he is about to jump, the rock holding him up loosens, falls at that moment, and crushes his entire right hand, leaving him trapped alone in an extensive desert with no one knowing his whereabouts. And so begins 127 hours. Despite the shock, Aaron tries with all his strength to lift the rock, but despite all efforts, nothing works. So he begins placing all his equipment on top of the rock to decide what to use. Grabbing his knife, he starts filing the rock for four hours, and he notices his hand no longer responds to any stimulus. It was practically already destroyed. By hour 11, night had fallen, and despite enduring all day, he couldn't take it anymore and drank most of his water. The next day, he manages to hook a rope to the top, allowing him to swing and rest. He also sees the sun finally shining after such a cold night. At that point, he recalls the time his father first took him to see the canyon and how that beautiful view made him fall in love with the place. Hour 24, returning to the present, Aaron decides to record himself in case he doesn't make it out alive, asking that whoever finds him keep the camera, but with the condition that they deliver the recording to his parents, for which he'd be grateful. In the video, he shows that he's trapped by the rock and how he had practically already lost his thumb. Suddenly, he hears footsteps, and with what strength he has left, he pleads for his life. But despite his attempt, he fails to get noticed and slowly begins to lose his mind due to the loneliness of the desert. Even so, he remains conscious and tries to lift the rock with a pulley, but it seems like an almost impossible trick. He records again, explaining that he only has enough water for one more day, and that despite filing for hours, what holds the rock is human, so he decides to make a tourniquet to stop the blood flow. And with no other option, he's decided to cut off his arm. But since his knife was of poor quality, it only barely left a wound. After hours utterly exhausted, he begins to recall when he met a girl at a party with whom he eventually dated. But after several more hours, almost without strength, he miraculously hears a storm coming, using it to drink water and save as much as he could. But due to the intensity of the rain, the passage begins to flood. But far from a tragedy, he uses it to lift the rock and still manages to escape the cave with his arm destroyed. He was practically free, he had saved himself, but instead of going to the hospital, he has the brilliant idea to go to the girl's house to apologize. But she, seeing him all broken, wants nothing to do with him, and he faints. When he wakes up, it was all a hallucination. The next day, he turns on the camera again, this time telling his parents that he regrets not telling someone where he was going because he was always selfish. He always liked to be apart from others and do things alone. So he says goodbye to his parents, expressing how much he loves them, and how sorry he is for not answering the call that morning. Then he starts drinking the last drops of water and feels how his heart is beating faster than usual due to the coagulated blood in his arm. So with a single blow, he stabs his arm. Additionally, due to the lack of water, he begins to drink his own urine to survive. And feeling resigned to death, he decides to watch one last time everything he had recorded. The last happy moments he had swimming with the girls. And seeing that he could still be happy gives him a small sense of purpose. So he decides to continue filing the rock. He recalls the girl again and how they fought because she wanted to leave the city, but he had decided to stay. Practically in his final hours of life, he feels how his whole body is starting to fail. His heart was beating faster and his body heat was dropping, causing him to have a hallucination with his friends and family, realizing he couldn't fulfill the promise of attending his sister's wedding. Desperately, he tries to file the rock but gets nowhere, ending up on the ground, practically on the edge of life, accepting that death was following him. Suddenly, he sees the sunlight begin to illuminate him, and from the other side of the rock, he envisions his future far from there, how happy he would be with his family. This gives him the strength he needed, realizing he still had a life worth living. He could still be happy. He could still be free. With iron willpower, he decides to break his arm bones multiple times to cut through the soft flesh, but that would be the easy part. The real challenge was cutting the nerves. Each time he cut one, he would have preferred to end his life. Despite that, he couldn't turn back, and even while agonizing, he manages to cut the last nerve. Without caring about the pain and suffering, he gathers enough strength to pull his arm out. 
For a moment, he's disoriented by what just happened. He had cut off his own arm. He covers himself with a bag to stop the bleeding, and before leaving, he takes a photo as a keepsake. Barely stumbling, he manages to get out of the cave with a crazy sense of happiness. He tries to make his way back to the town, but his strength was gone. He feels like he's about to faint, that all the effort and sacrifice he made would be in vain because his time had come. His destiny was to die in the desert. But from afar, as if by a miracle, he sees the silhouette of a person, and with his last breath, they see him and guide him to the rescue team that had been searching for days, finally saving him, and so ends 127 hours. After the accident, Aaron continued his passion for climbing, and as a good message, he urges people to always leave a note about where they are going before leaving. If you liked it, give it a like and subscribe for more summaries. Also, comment on which other movie you'd like us to do. Bye.